Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. Uh, this video is briefly going to discuss condominiums in Thailand, uh, the Condominium Act, and uh, briefly uh, so-called off-plan condos, um, and what one probably ought to think about when making a decision regarding purchase or possible purchase of any of the above. Um, Pursuant to Thai law, it's very difficult for foreign nationals to own uh, real property in the Kingdom of Thailand. What we're talking about here is land specifically, or real estate. Um, Thai law stipulates that only after having a land transaction signed off by the Minister of the Interior can uh, a land, can a foreigner own land, uh, specifically real estate, in Thailand. Um, such circumstances are highly, very rare in Thailand. Um, it would it would be a very rare occurrence to see something like that happen. Um, there are also certain uh, provisions of Board of Investment Law, the BOI, basically that allow for certain uh, concessions with respect to foreign corporate ownership of Thailand um, on industrial estates, etc. But again, uh, such, such matters are fairly rare, and beyond even that, not so much rare, um, those issues or those circumstances are oftentimes very caveated. Um, so not to get too deep into that, uh, essentially for lack of, uh, for all intents and purposes, the best thing to do uh, for purposes of this video is just assume foreigners cannot own land in Thailand, because effectively, uh, most of it, it's just not going to happen. It's, it's going to be a very rare set of circumstances where one is going to see that as being even a possibility. And, un, and under those circumstances, it's probably going to involve a significant amount of money uh, because such an exception would likely only be made for significant investment in the kingdom. Um, so moving forward, there is an exception with respect to real estate in Thailand for Thai condominiums. Under the Thai Condominium Act, so long as, a for, as foreign nationals do not own more than 49% of a given condominium complex, um, foreign nationals can hold what's called Chinook title, that's freehold title, to a condominium in Thailand. Now, I believe this is mentioned in various other videos on this channel. I'm not going to uh, dig too deep into that. Uh, it's important to conduct due diligence with respect to the property title of a condominium that one is seeking to purchase. It's also important to take note during that due diligence of where the foreign quota on the overall complex sits, if the complex is a very popular complex amongst foreign nationals in the kingdom and is coming very close to hitting the quota, the 49% threshold, uh, it may be wise to seriously think about uh, making arrangements to ensure that one uh, maintains the type of property rights that they want to maintain in that complex. Uh, but moving over to sort of a more specific issue with respect uh, to Thai condominiums is the issue of so-called off-plan condos. Um, these are condominiums one would purchase that have yet to be built. And in some cases, this is a great deal. I, I actually have many clients who've purchased off-plan condos in the kingdom, and, and it's worked out quite fabulously well for them. They ended up buying or owning in the end property uh, or condominium property that uh, they were able to purchase for significantly less than they would have been able to purchase, you know, just a few subsequent years later after the complex was built and up and running. Um, on the other side of things, unfortunately, there is there are instances where uh, people have been um, sort of hoodwinked with respect to so-called off-plan condominium projects, uh, in the sense that they're either projects that are never going, you know, have never been built. Or in certain instances, it, it just falls to a matter of truly innocent um, business failure. You know, there's an off-plan condo, the project is going along smoothly, and a financial crisis hits. Or some sort of other force majeure, a flood, or something like this, where, you know, the property, the, the, the individual's investment in that, in that off-plan condo is, is effectively lost. Um, it's, it, in some cases, it may not be anybody's fault. In other cases, there may be sort of an element of, you know, ill will or bad faith involved. But in some cases, it, it may just simply be bad luck. Um, for all of those reasons, not, not just, you know, to sort of concentrate on nefarious actors, 
but to just sort of look at the overall um, situation, it's not a bad idea to conduct some due diligence prior to um, getting oneself or oneself into a situation with respect to investment in a condo that could end up in sort of a in sort of a throwing good money after bad scenario, or you know loss of overall investment, or simply just not what one expected to be involved in at the outset. So uh, a little bit of due diligence, uh, you know, prior to looking into or buying into or investing in one of these um, in, in, a, in an off-plan condo probably isn't a bad idea, especially as the condo yet has yet to exist. Uh, with, with a proper condominium, with, with an already built condominium, it's still a good idea to do due diligence, hire an attorney, but it's going to be a far more transparent proposition. And frankly, our fees reflect that as, as due diligence for already built condominiums is, you know, it's a fairly routine fee because it's a fairly routine matter. We can find the place, we can ascertain where it's at, check into the juristic person, check into the Chinote issues, ascertain if everything's sort of on the up and up by, from a documentation standpoint, and be able to provide um, information to the client that's going to give them a very good idea of where things sit. Uh, with respect to you know off-plan condos, yeah, the fees may not be quite so routine because depending on the particular posture of that particular project, you know, it may not be particularly easy or transparent or uh, particularly even feasible to ascertain where the project, you know, sits. So again, not to say or not to sort of make this seem overly vague or overly opaque, uh, but being able to hire a legal professional to basically just get a just put their eyeballs on the overall situation can provide a great deal of insight especially to those who've never really lived for a long period of time or who really have dealt with the overall legal system as it pertains to property here in the kingdom of thailand